the second video of today, we are going to talk about Kanna. I have here now Shibucho is by my left side. I have here um, Shibucho Machias from Paraguay preparing for his uh, Uchibeshi examination in these very next days. And now um, we're going to talk about Kanna. The, uh, the term Kanna is a very old term and uh, it means uh, planar, like the, uh, the woodworking. Um, equipment for uh, for for planing. So the idea here is very interesting. The idea here, although this is a poetical name, what Chido Luis will show us is that um, this concept, in this case, will be shown against um, a text that he would come and uh, and try to hold, try to 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 grasp. Now let's see, for instance, uh, Matias. Shibucho Matias will hold in Tepuktori, in Yaku Tepuktori. Exactly, Shibucho Matias will put the key on his shoulder. Very nice. And so, in one single movement, in one single turn, what we have is that he is fully um, set. You know, he, is, he, is, he is ready. The, the technique is ready, and he is in just one piece, in just one movement, he is restrained. Now, let's see one more time. So she is, he may show us that after putting the key on his uh, on the UK shoulder, exactly from here already he can stand already uh, using musubi, and then as he is turning he is already uh, fitting and uh, positioning the hand of the UK on his leg exactly. Now what we see here is that he is taking great care with the UK because he's doing with, he's allowing the UK to keep his, his arms stretched. So, um, the UK can tell if the technique is done, uh, is performed properly as it is right now. The UK can tell that he cannot uh, lose, um, he cannot get away from this position, he is locked. However, this is a third stage, a third stage of care, a third stage of, uh, we can say, uh, not being so harmful because originally in this position what Ditori would do is as if he was, as if he was applying he would um, use an ashiuchi or step over violently on the arm break the arm and then after he he broke his arm he would then reach a position in which he is just uh, fully controlled. Now, later on, the masters realized that they could do exhibitions of these same principles and instead of stepping on uh, in these gyaku angles, in this reverse um, natural position, um, they could just step on a natural position of the body, then pin him down and keeping him restrained and then moving to a position uh, according to these Kanna, Kanna principles. Exactly, you see he is fully stretched and there is no uh, imperfection on this, on this line, on this act of stretching, hence the name Kanna. Now, the third stage of evolution, we can say, of this principle that came later on was when, uh, as Tushu Luis first, first showed, the, the arm is left stretched and using just this, this mechanism, he would be fully locked. Now, I'll ask Dr. Luis to show us kindly the same form, the same principle uh, using Aihami He holds firmly there. Very nice. What we, what we just saw it was Dr. Luis using his elbow, putting his key on his shoulder, then on his back. Exactly. I will ask, uh, can uh, please hold there, Stuchi Luis. Can the UK move? Can the UK lose his, his hips? No, because okay. if, you, if, you, if you take, if the camera takes the angle of his back, one more time, please, so the camera can understand. If, if the camera sees his back, we can see his scapula locked. So please, to the back. Both his scapulas are locked, so he cannot move. Very nice. Flawless execution. That's 
hold one more time. In just one turn, he is already there. This is it. So we could um, extend this class, this Jugyo to uh, all the other forms of uh, grasping techniques, holding techniques. Uh, but this was just a review so um, uh, you could see and uh, understand the principles of Kanma. Thank you very much.